Hi everybody. I have a review for you today. This is the Franklin Covey Easy Plan Wirebound Weekly Planner. And in case you're wondering, why do I need another planner? I don't. I actually did not buy this for the planner, but it is a really good setup. And so I want to go through the whole thing. I bought this at my office max. And from what I can tell, this is not available on the Franklin Covey website. They do have all of these components that I'm going to show you sold separately, but it is a really great value to buy all of these together. The price that I paid was $26 and the cover, they have some covers for notebooks and planners on the website that are either that price or more. And also the refills for this are also that same price. So it's really, really a fantastic bargain if you decide you want this. So I'm going to go through everything in case you do want to use it as a planner because I, I do think that it is a very valuable setup here. But I bought it strictly for the cover, honestly. I have been buying some notebooks or have bought them over the past, um, you know, six months to a year or so. And what I'm finding is like something like this, like a Moleskine or a Loistrom notebook, obviously they're hardcover and so that they can stand alone. But a lot of the ones that I really like, and I know a lot of you do too, are you know the Japanese type paper ones. And so they're soft cover. And so you can possibly use them on their own, but I prefer to have an, a notebook cover on mine. And so I've been in the market for some notebook covers. So anyway, that's why I essentially bought this. So as you can see, it's got a snap closure. It is a magnetic closure. And once in a while, it's probably not going to do this because I'm going to try and show you here, but once in a while, if you push really hard on it here, it kind of unsnaps by itself. So that is a little bit of a con, but you know, for the most part, it's very secure. I did notice when I was looking in my store, I was trying out all the different clasps and I, of course, was trying to get the sturdiest one because some are they don't fit as tight as some of the other ones. So I, I guess my that's my recommendation is if you're at the store, just try them all out and just kind of jiggle them a little bit because of obviously we want those to be very secure. It has this nice metal Franklin Covey tag down here. And as of course, this is an, it doesn't say, but this is like an A5 size or like a Kiki K large equivalent half size sheet of paper. If you're unfamiliar with Franklin Covey, they do have their own sizing. And so they call this a size four and it's also a classic size. So if you're wondering, you know, they just do things a little bit differently. They have actually been in business for since like 1986 or something like that. And even they had like the seeds of the company before that. So they've been in business for a really, really, really long time. So all these other planner companies that have come after them have kind of done their own thing and have not jumped on Franklin Covey's bandwagon, but that's okay. Anyway, so the planner itself is an A5 size, so five and a half by eight and a half, but because this is a cover, it's going to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to say it's like about an inch or an inch and a half wider on each size side. So it's, oh, there it is. See, it just came off like I was trying to show you before. So it's probably like a seven by 10 or something like that. As far as the, the cover is concerned, I don't have my ruler in front of me. Otherwise I would measure it for you. So let me go ahead and just show you on the back. There's no pocket or anything like that, which I think is okay because it's got pockets inside, which I'll show you. It has this reinforced spine, which I really like because a lot of times, you know, when we're holding our notebook, that's where our hand usually goes. And so I like that it's reinforced right there. And the stitching, it's got this contrast stitching, stitching which I'm kind of whatever. I, you know, sometimes I'm like, I wish it was the same color as, as the leather or the, the color other times I'm like, yeah, the contrast looks really nice. So I'm just, I'm kind of whatever with that. This is dark brown. I don't know if it's showing up very well on camera, but this is dark brown and the only other color available is black. So very, very basic, just kind of staying true to the Franklin Covey brand. She's very professional looking. So let me go ahead and open this up and show you. There's nothing on the front either, no pocket or anything. And I've already untaped that so you can see. So. On the left hand side, as you can see, there's this secretarial pocket right here, and then it's got one, two, three, four card slots, and they're all just, you know, your standard card slots with the, the window card slot right here. And then it's got a full pocket back here. This is very, very tight, and I think that has to do a lot with, well, for one, it's fairly new, and also 
because it's very thin. Like this is a notebook cover. It's not a planner cover. So I think I don't, it didn't say the dimensions, but this is only about a one inch spine, I would say. It's not very thick at all. And so I think that's one of the reasons why this particular pocket is pretty tight. I have to say, I don't really love this setup right here. And I've mentioned before, I'll mention it again, but I've got two lefties in my house. And so I'm really aware of kind of what, how, what lefties prefer and what they need. So I think this is great for left-handed people as far as like the access to it. But the reason why I don't like it is because I feel like if you put anything in here, whether it's a really slim notebook or stickers or you know notes or whatever you're putting in here or a bill that you need to pay or something, if you open it up like this and it falls out, it's going to fall completely out. Whereas if the stitching was on the left-hand side and it opened up on the right-hand side, if it fell out, it would fall towards the center. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't know, this, this just never feels secure to me. And I think that's just a personal preference of mine with any planner that I've ever found. I just don't, I would rather have it open up to the right-hand side only for that very reason. But other than that, I really like it. This is a simulated leather. I don't know if I told you that, but obviously with the price, you can probably figure that out. And it just, it feels really nice. I mean, it's, it's very smooth. I don't think that there's gonna be any problems with it with stains or anything like that. I'm always really concerned about the durability, but I think it's gonna be fine. As you can see, it doesn't lay completely flat yet. Like I said, it's, it's fairly on the new side and I haven't really worked with it or started using it yet, but I think it will lay completely flat once I start using it like I want to. And then right here is the actual planner. So as you can see, it's their Franklin Covey, it's their Compass brand. They've had different brands over the past you know, decades that I've known about them. So right now it's Compass and it's a weekly planner. They do have refills for this. This one is, it happens to be undated, which again is wonderful for something like this because I'm not gonna be using it. But they do have dated ones that are online. And like I said, it's, they range between $24.95 and $29.95. So just the planner alone, I think that this is a really great value. It's, it's a huge bargain to buy this set like this. And of course it is for the entire year since it's a weekly. They do have a daily refill as well, but I think because it's a daily and there's so many, you know, with a daily, obviously there's so many more pages. I don't think that the week, the daily would fit into this because it is such a slim cover. I think you would have to get one of their other notebook covers that they have for that. So let me go ahead and open this up. First of all, you can see it's kind of like a got a shine, a lamination to the front of it, but it's just a standard, you know, cardstock, so it's not very durable, which again is why you would need some kind of a notebook or a planner cover. And then this is just the double O-ring spiral, which isn't durable, but in a cover like this, it's going to be a lot more durable. And then it comes with these two, which honestly, this is the second reason why I bought this particular setup is because I am always just in love with things like this. So this just says day, it's a clear ruler, so you can see to the next page, this says day, and this says month. And I just completely love those. On the, They do sell these also separately on the website. These are $2.95 each. So again, I just think that this is such a great bargain. So here, of course, is your page to fill out your information. This is, this, these front pages here are kind of cool. This is, goes back to the kind of the top-down planning method where you kind of figure out your your goals and what you want to do and then you start figuring out the details so it's got kind of that same format as some other planners that I've showed you so planning hints and hints and tips here being proactive and if you're familiar or not familiar with the Franklin Covey system they have the seven habits you've probably heard of that and this doesn't go quite along with all of the seven habits but it kind of has that feel to it so taking responsibility and pre being proactive, that is the first step. And then it's got some notes pages here that you can go along with that same step. Then there's some values, just figuring out what is important to you. Again, some notes over here. Mission statement, they do have on their website where you can go and fill out some things and print out your own personal mission statement. Or you can write it out on a planner like this. And I believe that the majority of their planners do come with something like this. And then renewal, if you've heard sharpen the saw, that's the step number seven in the Franklin Covey system. And so it just talks about physical, social, and emotional, 
mental and spiritual. Those are the four things about sharpening the saw. Then it's got just some toll-free numbers and just some other you know, random pages that none of us hardly ever use. And then it's got this nice note page. I love the spacing. I'm going to say that this is probably three or four millimeters, so very thin, but I have very small handwriting as I mentioned, and I really love this kind of really thin spacing. And then it just jumps right into the calendar. So like I said, this is undated. As you can see, it's kind of got these the yellowish shading. I think if I was designing this planner, I think I would just go straight grayscale on this. But I do like that the dates and the days, and then of course the days of the week, I do like that those are shaded somehow. And then as you can see at the top, it's got a the months that you circle, and then you can just fill in right here what year it is. So I do really like that. I completely love lines on my monthly. I, you know, obviously it's not a deal breaker for me, but I do love that. And then of course you get all your 12 months in the front and then it goes straight into your week. So this is a very, very basic planner, but I think it's really good, especially if you are just starting out in the planning community. This is very professional looking. You can take it at work and it's got everything that you need. I think it's got, it's just a really great setup. So again, here we go. On the weekly, it's got the, the months that you circle and then you write in the days of the week and then the year. And then it's got one little space at the top that doesn't have a line or a time on it. And it's got a line in between. So obviously it's at half hour increments and goes from eight to eight. And then it's got another space. And then down here are your daily tasks. Let me show you how that looks. And again, this goes right along with the Franklin Covey system. Sorry, that's not, not focusing very well, but this is check if it completed. You've got an arrow forwarded, X if it's deleted, and then it's got, I can't, I'm trying to see what that looks like. It says G and a, a line through it if it's delegated, and then a, a little dot if it's in process. Now, if you're not familiar with, again, with Franklin Covey system, they have been doing this kind of thing and, for decades and decades. And I'm sorry to burst the bubble of all of you bullet journalists out there, but writer Carroll did not invent this kind of system. He may have perfected his bullet journal system, but if you've been in the business world for a long time, they were the ones who actually invented this kind of thing where it's the prioritization and the symbols and that kind of thing. So this has been in every Frank Franklin Covey planner for decades now. So they tell you exactly how to do it. And I do like that they have the shaded area where you prioritize things and you put your symbols in there. That's a really nice touch. And it looks like there's about, I think it's nine spaces right here for each daily task. And then it does have a shared weekend, which, you know, we all know we go back and forth. I mean, we understand why companies do this, but Franklin Covey is very focused on the professional world. So you can see why they would combine the weekends there and that's it like it just is all the weeks and then it goes straight into some note pages I believe there's like nine pages and you can see the the small spacing here compared to the notebook that it comes with so I really prefer this one but you know I obviously can use that as well and then it's got just the A to Z phone and address directory which I don't really use and then that's it so nothing fancy about this at all. And then it also comes with this notepad in the very back. Again, you can buy this on the Frank Covey website. I believe this is like somewhere like six or eight dollars or something like that for the refill. And again, it's just a nice touch with the shading over here where you can check that off or prioritize. And it's the exact same on the back, which I really like because a lot of notepads just have a blank side. So I do. That's a great touch, I think. So anyway, and then it's got a pen loop right here. It is elasticized, so that's good. And then, of course, you've got just the one pocket back here. There's nothing, you know, it just slips through for the notepad back there, but no pockets or anything like that. So I really, really like this. Again, I bought this for a notebook cover. So let me take this out, and I'll show you a couple notebooks. And my Hobonichi cousin, I will show you that. So let me show you what doesn't work first. In case you're wondering, I, I really love Claire Fontaine paper and their notebooks. This is the French rule, which I completely love. And let me put this in here. It's probably going to be a little bit hard because this one is a little bit, a teeny bit taller and definitely wider than your standard notebooks. And as you can see, 
it actually does fit in here, but you're not going to be able to close the cover. So for all of you Claire Fontaine fans out there like I am, that's not going to work. Same thing with like an Erin Condren notebook. They're just too wide. So the standard kind of notebooks that I really like are those Japanese ones. And so here is a, this is a cross field, seven C's. So let me put that in there for you. And as you can see, it's a really nice fit, even with this notebook underneath. And let me show you how that works, how that looks. So that fits in really well. So obviously I wouldn't have the notepad in there, but it fits really well. And you could fit another little notebook or something over here and still have plenty of room. So this is really why I bought this particular cover is for my notebooks. Let me show you last but not least my Hobonichi Cousin because that is the same size, that A5 size. And as you can see with my cousin, I have all the girl of all work tabs over here and it still works. You know, it would probably run into my pen, but as far as the cover is concerned, that's another option is you could fit your cousin in here. So any A5 planner or notebook is gonna fit really well in here. And I just really like that it's just very basic. I'm a basic standard girl, had no fanciness going on with me. So I really, really like this option. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, let me know and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.